Hey, what's good, y'all? This your boy, Big Dog Talk Sports. Shout out to the whole team, the Behind the Bench Network. Salute to every subscriber. Um, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe now. We will greatly appreciate it. Hit that notification bell. We try to give you, you know, some dope sports content. Um, shout out to everybody, man. Everybody leave comments, whether you agree or disagree. Um, salute to everybody, man. Um, this is a random um posts just give y'all guys some content for the day uh, i'm outside right now sitting in my car about to have an eclipse everybody going crazy over you got people thinking the world about the end or they don't went to the grocery store but all the potted meat and you know toilet paper and you know people done came from all over the world to come see this four minute eclipse that's about to happen but you know whatever man i'm here um, the Wild Wild West in the NBA, man. Um, I think it's only like about five, four or five games left in the season for some of these teams. And the West, the Western Conference, man. Uh, the Dallas Mavericks, the Phoenix Suns, New Orleans Pelicans, Sacramento Kings, the Lakers, the Golden State Warriors. You know, they all still fighting, man. They still fighting for position to have some teams fighting to get into that play in. You know what I'm saying? Lose a get two or three game losing streak right now, you you might fall out the playoffs. Um, we got some important games. No games happening tonight for the NBA, but we got some important games tomorrow. You got the uh, Clippers and the Suns, the Warriors and the Lakers. On the East Coast, you got the Celtics and the Bucks. And then back over here on the West Coast, well, I'm not on the West Coast, but back on the West Coast, the Kings and the Thunder. You know, tell me what y'all think. Tell me who y'all got winning those games. Tell me who y'all think gonna make the playoffs. Tell me who y'all think is gonna, you know, fall out, losing the play in, whatever. MVP race. Tell me who y'all got for the MVP, man. Um, I think Jokic, um, SGA, Jason Tatum. Those are three top candidates for MVP right now. Can't forget Luka Doncic for sure. He, so top four candidates. Who y'all got for MVP, man? The way the Mavs been going right now, it could be Luka. I think it's gonna be Luka or Jokic. But SGA, you know, he got something to say. Jason Tatum, the Celtics, they've been dominating the East over there. 62 wins right now. Tell me who y'all got for MVP. Who y'all think going to close out winning MVP for the season? Um, the Bucks, man. <laughs> the Bucks. Doc Rivers. What, what are we going to do with the Bucks, man? What are we going to do with the Bucks? I thought it was a terrible mistake for them to um, fire Griffin. And not mainly just because they fired Griffin, even though this was, what, 30 and 13? But they hired Doc Rivers, bro. Like, I've been feeling Doc Rivers was overrated for over a decade now. Um, I've seen people, you know, content creators, saying people should be hating on Doc Rivers and blah, blah, blah. And, and now it's like, what do we say, you know? Team that was looking to win a championship, they're falling into the playoffs. The East the Eastern Conference looking kind of weak right now, and the Bucks, despite you know not really not really doing too good, they still number two in the East. But I think they're like thirteen and fifteen under Doc Rivers or something like that. Tell me what y'all think about the Bucks, man. And I'm not putting this all on Doc Rivers. Giannis, you are the leader of the team. Um, in this day and age, uh, the star players in the NBA got a lot more power now. And may, and I don't know if he had any influence on Griffin being fired and Doc Rivers being hired. I don't know. I'm not in that organization. But you being the leader of the team, it's hard for me to believe you didn't. You feel what I'm saying? Damian Lillard, you know, you get, a, you, get you know, accountability here too for me. Because, bro, everybody said, you know, once you leave Portland, you go to a contender team, you're going to show out, show your ass. No. Uh, but Giannis, since you're the leader, I'm looking at you the most. You got to get it together, man. I still think you may be the best player in the NBA. I mean, no disrespect to Jokic. I mean, Jokic is the number one guy right now. But, you know, I think overall you're the better player. You got to do something, Giannis. The Bucks not looking good right now. You got to do something. You know, what else I'm going to talk about real quick? WrestleMania. Did you guys watch WrestleMania, man? For me, I feel like day uh, day one was okay. I gave it like a 6.5 out of 10. 
Um, I like the main event with The Rock, um, Roman Reigns, Cody Rhodes, Seth Rollins. I like the Jay Cargill, Naomi in the match. That wasn't expected to be a classic. That was just a Jay Cargill showcase, you know. Um, the Usos, Jay Uso versus Jimmy Uso, disappointing. All they did was kick and talk each other. Super kicks and talk. Super kicks and talk. That match was ass. Um, Sami Zayn versus Gunther. Um, that was pretty good. Um, the tag team ladder match, you know, for the for both tag team titles, that was dope. Um, I feel like I missed some Rhea Ripley, Becky Lynch. That was okay. Overall, I felt six point five out of ten. But last night, day two, uh, man, that was wonderful. I give that probably about a eight point five out of ten. I might go back and watch night two. Main event was dope. Cody Rhodes ending Roman Reigns. Um, was it 13, 1400 day streak as champion? Whatever it is, something crazy over three years. Shoot, salute to Cody Rhodes. Um, what other match we had? Bailey, she's winning, the, she won the women's championship over EO Sky. That was a pretty good match. You know, I feel like night two was just better. Seth Rollins, he lost to Drew McIntyre, he lost the world heavyweight championship to Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre and CM Punk. They exchanged words. <laughs> hey, Drew McIntyre got on top of the table. Right there, CM Punk face and told him to suck it. <laughs> did CM Punk kick his ass? And then Damian Priest came and cashed in and won the championship? That was crazy. Night 2 was way better. I give it like an 8.5, maybe a 9, simply because the main event. You know, I feel like main events can make or break events. The main event was great. Undertaker, John Cena, uh, The Rock, Seth Rollins coming back in his shield, um, uniform, Solar Sokoa, the Uso brothers. Um, that was just a great match, man. Salute to them. Oh, don't forget, uh, Logan Paul maintaining, you know, keeping his U.S. title against Randy Orton and Kevin Owens in that triple threat match was another good match. I might go back and watch Night 2 again, man. Um, but tell me what y'all thought about WrestleMania. Oh, South Carolina versus Iowa. That was a great championship game. Salute to Don Staley, Cardosa, and Tessa Johnson. Shout out to the South Carolina Gamecock ladies. Finishing undefeated for the season. They defeated Caitlin Clark in Iowa. Caitlin Clark, I know you're getting a lot of slander online. But salute to you. You did your thing. Great career. Go do your thing in the WNBA. I'm looking to see you, Angel Reese, Cardosa. Um, uh, what's my girl name for uh, Connecticut? Not Connecticut, excuse Stanford. Um, I'm having a brain fart right now. But salute to y'all ladies. I will be watching the draft. Might even do a little coverage on the draft. Uh, salute to the ladies. That was a great championship game. That's how basketball is supposed to be played. Both teams fought hard. Defense, offense. Um, salute to everybody, man. I'm out, man. Subscribe to the channel. Leave thoughts in the comments.